all right everyone before we get started I want to let you know you will never truly get the lines of this logo a hundred percent correct now unless you trace because the Clemson Tiger logo is a cool logo but it's a tad bit odd so I will show you how to get to the best as close as possible first we're going to start with the middle paw it's more of a triangle shape use the actual logo as reference and play around with it for a little bit you're gonna get the basic shapes first and I'll show you how I pretty much do the jagged edges now it has four toes for the paws one of the toes is parallel one of the bottom of the toes is parallel to this line right here and they're all pretty much triangular shaped at the core I'm gonna do this also you don't want to make sure this toe and this toe right here at the bottom are close together you don't want it too far apart same thing for the top part of this one but you want to kind of bulge this one out some at the end back of the paw now something most people usually forget right here is I what I would say is a little horse head so we're gonna s slowly erase that and I say horse head because it reminds me of that um, nebula that you sometimes can s you sometimes see in uh, astronomy books so now that we have that I'm gonna take your pencil and I normally vibrate it just a tad bit to get these jagged lines now you can look at an image like I'm doing now and try to mimic noticeable parts but really it's not it's not gonna do you much good unless you're tracing it and I wouldn't even suggest that because if you're tracing it you're pretty much going to be there all day so make your jagged lines and I'll do one for you real quick like so now they're very small so you quickly want to re change your direction they're not really zigzag lines they're just mostly I would say diagonal there's no line that goes horizontal or vertical so steer clear of doing that And here we go, the Clemson Tiger logo.